Baseball's biggest events taken away now returning to Atlanta. A new announcement tonight, Atlanta will host the 2025 Major League All-Star Game. It comes just after two years, uh, two years after the league awarded, then quickly rescinded the event to our city because of changes to Georgia's voting laws. Atlanta News First reporter Patrick Quinn at Truist Park tonight as some Republican state leaders today questioned if Major League Baseball was making an announcement or an apology. That's amazing. Atlanta is just a hub for so much amazingness. LeVar Jacobs has next level energy hearing the news of Atlanta selected to host the 2025 All-Star Game. I might stay right here until the All-Star Game just because I know how great it's going to be. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens celebrated the announcement and in a statement told me, quote, add this to FIFA, the college football playoff national championship, the U.S. Soccer Training Center. There is no doubt Atlanta is now the sports capital of the nation. This keeps building on itself, so it's a great thing for the city uh, and everybody who loves sports. The announcement comes just two years after Major League Baseball abruptly decided to move the game away from Atlanta to Denver after Governor Brian Kemp signed into law Senate Bill 202, a bill that critics, including then Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, said signaled an attempt to suppress the votes of people of color. It is really probably the first of many boycotts of our state to come. And the consequences of this bill are significant. Today, MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred recognized the 2021 controversy and said Atlanta earned the right to host. The decision in 2021 to move the event, and I understand, believe me, that people had then and probably still have different views as to the merits of that decision. I will not be backing down from this fight. In 2021, Governor Brian Kemp defended Senate Bill 202, and today he clapped back at Major League Baseball, saying, quote, Georgia's voting laws haven't changed, but it's good to see that MLB's misguided understanding of them has. The economic impact for hosting an All-Star game averages roughly $70 million, and some are already seeing dollar signs. I'm in real estate, so I want all the people to come, and I want them all to buy houses around here in Cobb County and surrounding areas to be able to come enjoy this. From Truist Park at the Battery, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Now, the president of the Georgia NAACP speaking out against the return of the All-Star Game, Gerald Griggs, calling it, quote, disheartening to see the return, claiming that our state is, quote, still in the sweltering heat of voter suppression. You could read his full statement on AtlantaNewsFirst.com.